welcome to my channel. I thought that I would sit down and share some things that I would personally buy from Amazon when it comes to doing your own lashes at home. I have a list on Amazon which I will link down below where you can easily find these items. Some of them might not, oh hold on I forgot something. So let's get right into it. I've been doing my own lashes for over four years now. I feel like I've tried so many different products out there and these are just some of the products that I feel like are nice to have that you can specifically buy on Amazon. So the first thing that I would repurchase time and time and time again is this magic primer here. I accidentally stumbled upon it. Well, it wasn't even accidental. I was searching for a lash primer and I came across this one. The first step when it comes to doing your own lashes is you wanna make sure that your eye area is free of any oils, even if you wash it with like face wash. If you go get your lashes done professionally at a salon, they will prep the eye area and make sure there are no residual oils. Same thing with your nails. They prep the nail bed to make sure that there are no residual oils because oils can interfere with adhesion, longevity, all of that. So same applies for lashes. So if you have something at home that is oil free, like some sort of cleanser or primer, some micellar water formulas do have oils in them, like a mix. So I don't usually use micellar water, but this right here, this is probably my third bottle or something and I have to buy another one. It works like a charm. It's a decent size, decent price, and I love that it has this pump top, which makes it very, very easy to use. So what you do is take a cotton swab, toilet paper, whatever, do a few pumps and then clean up the eye area and you're good to go to apply a new set. This is also great to clean up your lashes throughout the week as you wear them, whether you're wearing eye makeup like I am right now. What I'll do is I'll take one of these guys right here, which you can also find on Amazon. It's like a lipstick wand of sorts and you dip it in the primer and then go ahead and clean up your eye area to get rid of all of that makeup. So you can take off your makeup like you usually do, but then grab a the, one of these, or you can use Q-tips, honestly Q-tips work just as fine, just as well, and just like really get close to the lash line to clean it up to make sure you don't have any makeup on there. If you already have a solution that you like that kind of acts as a primer, you can buy these little bottles at the dollar store. I found them at Dollar Tree, and it also has that little pump top. I already have like a solution in here from a Lash Links primer that I was using because the Lash Links bottle doesn't have a pump top and I just really love these. So I found this at the dollar store. You should be able to find it in like, I think the makeup section or something like that and just kind of transfer it into here, twist off the top. This is not from Amazon, but you can find it at the dollar store. Item number two is the Lash Links Remover Oil. Lash Cluster Glues, they are very flexible and user friendly but at the same time you do need a very oily solution to remove them. Using a typical eye makeup remover might not do the trick for a lot of people. You might have to do a lot of tugging and rubbing. Something like this works so well. This is definitely one of my favorites. I think this might be my second third bottle. I'm not sure, but she did send this to me. She sends me quite a few things to try out, which I'm very grateful for, but this I would buy 100% on my own it is a little sorry I, my self tan is ridiculous right now but this is a little bit pricey but i promise you a little bit goes such a long way you just place a few drops at the top of your lashes when it's time to remove them or you can place it on a cotton round if you place it directly on your lashes then let it sit there for like a good minute if you place it on a cotton round then place the cotton round over your eye hold it for like 30 seconds 60 seconds just make sure it's very well saturated and then very gently swipe down and all your lashes should come off with it and then use that same cotton round to like get rid of any residual glue that is left on your natural lashes because you want to make sure you're getting rid of all of that glue but if you're doing like the dropper method then just let it sit for like a minute and then very gently swipe down with a cotton round and kind of repeat the same steps this works like a charm every single time it's just such a great formula i feel like a lot of the damage can happen when we take them off before they're ready to come off and it'll take off lashes that weren't ready to fall off. You might see some lashes on there because they had nowhere to go when they fell off. But if you're tugging, you might take off national you might take off lashes prematurely that were not ready to come off. So having something like this is very, very good to have in your collection. And if you are gonna apply a new set right after, just make sure you're going in with a lash primer to get rid of all of those oils that might be left on your eyelid area. I also have a mirror on the list. I have a compact mirror, but my daughter actually took it and she uses it for like her makeup and stuff. So right now I just use my Lancome primer mirror, but I love having something like this because when you hold it at chin level and you look at the top mirror here, you can see your lash line completely and this really helps you as you're applying them to make sure you are following the natural curve of your eye shape to make sure that you're not touching the waterline when you're placing them make sure you're angling them properly not placing them too far away all of that so whether you use a compact or i have a swivel mirror like a tabletop swivel mirror either option works but having a mirror at chin level and like 
facing upward will really really help with application I use this because I just use one hand to apply lashes but if you need two hands then get like a tabletop vanity mirror that swivels next thing I would recommend is having a lash pad you can find so many different kind on Amazon these days when you're applying your lashes and you're trying to map them out like you want a cat eye shape a doll eye whatever this just helps keep all the lashes in place so you can place them on here map them out and then take them as you're ready to go so that you're not like fumbling and you have lashes everywhere having a lash pad is just really helpful and again you can find so many different kinds on Amazon and they're very inexpensive I also have a lash fan on here I used to have one from lilac street the ones on Amazon are a lot cheaper than the lilac street one those are nice if you're waiting for your glue to dry down especially if your glue is really sticky I'll talk about stickiness in a little bit when it comes to glues but sometimes having a lash fan is nice I don't personally use it anymore but I did want to add it to the list because I feel like for some people it can be helpful I also added spoolies to the list these are silicone type spoolies but Amazon does have different kinds and the reason why I added them is because throughout the week sometimes you might get fallout on your lashes let's say you get little fuzzies or something take a spoolie dip it in your oil free primer lash primer and then very gently brush them you don't want to be too harsh because lash glue like lash cluster glue is not the same as professional glue you can accidentally remove the lashes by being too harsh so be very gentle and light-handed and just kind of very gently brush them through if you kind of like want a touch up so this is why i included them in here because i do get a lot of comments like how do you clean them throughout the week how do you touch them up like what if you get eyeshadow on them makeup all of that like little fuzzies little fuzzies is the biggest one sometimes fuzzies are hard to avoid because of the glue which is the next thing that I'm going to talk about so the glue I have on here is lash links glue because that is one of my favorites I actually have a whole stash of different glues and sealants and stuff and applicator tools and lash links glue let me grab all of them she has a black formula and a clear formula for the glue so wait this is the glaze this is not a glue I don't think I have the clear glue with a micro mascara wand I don't know what happened to it I thought I had oh I think mine got gunky so I got rid of it but she has glue formulas in black and clear white but it dries clear and both of these glue formulas come in either a brush or a micro mascara wand so you can choose the brush option this is the other applicator here it's a micro mascara wand and I bend mine because for me it's just easier to get closer to the root when it's bent like this so I kind of like can go in and dab it at the base of my roots of my lashes. I like having both options because I like to use the micro mascara wand and dab it along the base of my natural lashes. And then I like to use the brush one to swipe it across the actual lash. That way I have glue on my lashes as well as on the actual lash cluster. This just gives me a much more secure hold. And a lot of people did say that these glues are sticky. And now that I've used a lot, a lot of glues, I do agree they are one of the stickier formulas. I was using the Lashify glue, which I love that it's double-sided. You have the brush on one side, the micro mascara wand on the other, all in one glue. This one is not sticky at all. It's not a wet formula, and I love that about it. I honestly didn't even need to use a sealant. My white one got like really gunky. But I feel like because of that, it just did not give me the hold I was looking for. And if you have oily eyelids like I do, and you struggle with longevity, I think the issue might be the glue. If you're prepping and you're doing all the right things, sometimes switching the lash glue will make the biggest difference. And I really wanted to point that out in today's video because I did not have luck with this glue. I tried and the lash fi lashes are way too expensive for me to not have them last as long as I want them to like by day two one of them would fall off like if I was my eyes were watery one of them would fall off I could feel it falling off and like my biggest fear is one of them falls off in public I would wake up with like the inner corner missing they would get wonky and I think it's because the glue is just not sticky enough with these the glue is so sticky your lashes are not going anywhere they are not going anywhere the holes on this glue is so good I've come to the conclusion it's the stickiness that will give you that longevity so if you're doing all the right steps look into switching out your glue if you don't like the stickiness on this there are sealants that you can use I have some from Lashify and I also have from Lash Links I personally like the waterproof sealer from Lashify and then the ice from Lash Links they are wax based so they're not going to leave a waxy film on your lashes when you apply it to your natural lashes so what a sealant does is it helps to get rid of stickiness so you kind of run it along the lash line or you can do it along the top the typical sealants that you see on amazon are waxy even glaze is waxy so like when you swipe it across your fingers and then you rub your fingers together it has like this it balls up and it's very waxy so it's going to coat your lashes i'm actually going to get rid of this because mine is it's ready to go and i don't use it honestly i just don't like waxy sealants but ice is not going to leave that waxy film on your lashes and it will help get rid of stickiness with the lash links glues 
it doesn't get rid of all the stickiness because at the end of the day when I shut my eyes I can still feel a little bit of stickiness and if you're in really hot humid climates this might bother you but by day three I noticed it's not sticky at all for me like it really really completely dried down and for me I would much rather deal with that than deal with like wonky lashes and have lashes falling off and have to readjust them for me it's just not worth it like if I'm paying this much for lashes I want them to last. And the last thing that I have on my list is an eyelash remover in a tube. There are different kinds, which I'll talk about. So there's this remover, which I use day to day, but sometimes I use these right here. And especially if I'm traveling, I would much rather pack these than this whole tube. So I get these off of Amazon. The first one that I ever shared about on my channel was it's heroin make. They should still sell it. Speedy mascara remover. They kind of upgraded the tube a little bit. So I don't know if you can see, but it has like these little teeth on it. So you kind of run it through the tops of your lashes and then wiggle it back and forth for a couple seconds and then let it sit there and then same thing, they should slide right off. So it's basically an oil remover, but in a tube. They also have smaller ones, like smaller tubes like this. And it has that same little teeth applicator right here. And again, it's just basically an oil remover, but in a tube, but it just makes it really great if you want to travel with a remover. So I love traveling with these and I wanted to add them to the list because I do actually use these quite a lot. And then also it's nice to have this if you can pick this up at the dollar store because then you can kind of plop some in here as you're traveling because this bottle is so much smaller than this one. One more thing that I wanted to mention is applicators. I do have lash fry applicators which I do love, love my lash fry applicator. I have the baby one. This is literally my favorite one because it's perfect for my small eyes this is the original holographic one that i got with my control kit i do love these wands and i use this one probably 99 percent of the time but if you don't have the money to splurge on it they do have basic ones like not tweezers because tweezers in my opinion are just not good to use to apply lashes but they do have like basic ones like if you're looking for something like that lash techs use when they apply lashes but without the pointy tip you do not want to buy ones that have like an insanely pointy tip because this to me is so dangerous so do not buy ones like these but buy ones that have a blunt edge to them so you don't accidentally poke your eye out and then okay one more thing that i forgot is scissors i don't use these as much i probably use them more to like trim my eyebrows sometimes but sometimes you want to trim your lash clusters and having these teensy weensy scissors is so helpful so this i would definitely add to my collection as well and all of these things i don't use them every single day some of them i do some of them I don't, some of them I use like once a month, but it's just nice to kind of slowly build your collection so that you have the necessities that you need to apply your own lashes at home. So I just wanted to share some things that I use that you can find on Amazon. Oh my gosh, I gotta get my cat down. Sneaky, sneaky little boy. He's so cute though, aren't we? Oh, he's so cute. Why are your paws wet? Why are your paws wet? Were you in the sink? Mm. Alright you guys, I'm going to finish off the video here. I'll link everything down below as well as my Amazon list. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in future videos. Bye!